Hello and welcome to Road TC. We're currently out in Riccioni staying at the fantastic Hotel Belvedere. Welcome to Road CC Italy Week. Well, while we were out here in Italy, we decided that we'd take the opportunity to test some summer kit. So we've got three kits, uh, all of different levels. Um, we've got an entry level one um, and then right up to some premium kit. And we thought we'd test it in the sunshine because, you know, that's what we came to Italy for. <laughs> We bought three jersey and bib short combinations with us to Italy. Um, the first is a 900 series cycling kit from B-Twin, that's Decathlon Cycling Brand. Now, this is their most expensive stuff, but this, even then, this outfit is only £85 for the jersey and shorts. Secondly, we have some Castelli kit, uh, the Entrata 3 jersey. That's kind of like their mid to low range jersey and their Velocissimo 4 bib shorts, which are really, really good shorts we found out. Uh, Castelli is a pretty well-known brand. You've probably heard of them. Um, and in terms of pricing, it's like a mid to high end option. Uh, some of Castelli's top tier stuff is pretty spendy. Um, but this combo is only 170 quid. And for our top end stuff, we've got Lacole's new HC bib shorts and jersey. Now, this is their top of the range cycling gear, and as such, it's pretty expensive. So it's £330 for the bibs and for the jersey. Um, so that's, you know, twice as expensive as the Caselli stuff at full retail. Um, it's not the most expensive kit you can buy, but, you know, it's, it's nearer the top than the bottom. So those are our kit selections and I'm going to ride them on consecutive days and, you know, we'll let you know what we think. Andorra! Andiamo! Andiamo! You've got your uh, B Twin kit on, yeah. the cheapest one. Um, to be honest, it's really good. Uh, I haven't noticed anything particularly that I didn't like about it so far. There's one, there's no kind of gripper around the bottom of the jersey, so it tends to ride up a little bit. But I mean, it fits really well. There's no kind of like gaps in it. The shorts are really comfortable. The, um, the pad is 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 doing its job. Um, the leg grip has worked really well. Everything's kind of staying in place there. So I mean, generally speaking, it's good. The pockets are a little bit on the small side, but there's one that's kind of more creepy. Put stuff in, it's a bit, a bit damp. So that's good. And generally speaking, I mean, great to quid. I mean, not really that bad. girl in the background is that on it is yeah ah nice we're just taking in the ambiance so yeah that's 85k done in the between kit um i'm pretty impressed with it to be honest um 85 quid it's like a really solid um comfortable you know well fitted kit the pad in the shorts i mean we've done about what four hours in the saddle yeah something like that so it's good for that kind of distance probably if you want to go longer than that you'd look for something with a bit more support but I've been really impressed with it. Temperature's been up today. We finished in about 22 degrees. 22 degrees, and it wicks well. You know, it, it doesn't feel it doesn't feel clammy, um, and generally, like, really impressed with it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, for 85 quid, it's it's a really really solid kit. So, thumbs up.
So Dave, day two, you've got the uh, Castelli kit there. Yeah, and really liking it. It's, it fits really well, it's very comfortable. Um, things that I like especially, uh, when you're in an all-you-can-eat kind of week in Italy, then it's nice to have a bit of a kind of corset on your shorts. Keep your tummy in a little bit. Um, the back here, the pockets are slightly dropped at the hem there. So they're a bit deeper, but they're still quite easy to get into, which is quite nice. So you can put your phone in, you're not worried about it falling out. But there's plenty of room for the feet kitten, that's good. Um, yeah, it's good. The, the, the laser cut seams are nice and nice and sharp, so you should get some sharp tan lines. Everything fits really well. The pad is probably, I think it's better than the big twin one, so I mean, we'll see. Okay, we're back at the hotel. Um, the Castelli kit, the Enchanted jersey is is good. Uh, the pockets I like especially. Um, they're nice and deep. You can get loads of stuff in them. It's easy to get stuff out of them as well. You could probably do with a silicon gripper on the bottom. It doesn't have one. So it tends to ride up a little bit, but the pockets also put it down. So it swings around about there. But it's really comfy. Um, the sleeves, the, the sort of laser cut sleeves work really well. Nice, give, give you a nice sharp line. Well, I haven't actually got one. Um, and the Velocissimo bib shorts, um, we've just reviewed these on Road CC. There's a link to that review in the in the description below. And um, you know they're really good. And the Kiss Air Pad is is good for. I mean, we've done four and a half, five hours today. Yeah, and it's been six hours in the you know six yeah. hour day. So and you know they're really comfortable. Um, they're quite compressive. The fabric's quite compressive. Um, and they're quite long, which you may or may not like. But I mean, they're really comfortable. Um, and the kit, yeah, it's generally good. I mean, in terms of how much better it is than the B-Twin kit, I'd say that I didn't really feel the difference between the jersey and the B-Twin jersey, which is quite a lot cheaper. The shorts, which are, you know, nearly twice as expensive, are, I would say, considerably better in terms of comfort after four hours. So you know, you're paying a little bit more, you're getting a little bit more for that. You're also uh, hiding your pasta paunch quite well. <laughs> yeah, they've got this lovely little bit here. This is a, uh, which is your your Italy week corset. It just sits on your tummy there, and uh, keeps you looking. Uh, well, I don't I don't ever look slim, but slimmer. Day four, we are on our longest ride. How's your Lacole kit? Well, it's it's really good. I mean, I've, I'm glad I wore it today because it's not as warm as that. It's a bit cloudy. Also, we've been up above 1,400 meters on, on uh, a big climb. So this material is a bit thicker. It's good for weather like this. It wouldn't be quite as good in the heat probably, but it's really lovely fabric. It's really sumptuous kind of fabric. It feels really nice against the skin. The pad in the shorts is really good. I've had four hours already. Um, got another two to go, I'm sure it'll be fine. And you know, there's good stretchy fabric, there's a lot, a lot of room in the pockets, you can carry a lot of stuff, but it just feels, you know, feels like feels like quality kit. And, you know, for 330 quid it should do, so two more hours and then uh, we'll see how we go.
Kit number three, the uh, LeCole kit. Yep, and the sun's come out finally, so uh, we can sit in, uh, sit in the sun in this. I mean, I think the difference with this kit is like you feel the the quality of the fabric and the, the feel of it is really really nice i mean it's just a lovely kit to wear um it feels well fitted um the pad is really really good so we spent we did a long day today so we did up a, up a big zero climb down the other side we did end up doing 125k in about I don't know, five and a half hours of riding but we're out for out for a, a bus ride to get there and then for coffee stop and a lunch stop and we came back so we were probably out for about eight hours yeah. maybe nine hours uh, it's all chamois time and they were really comfortable the whole time um the jersey is um the fabric's thicker so most of the day today it's been quite cool and on top of the mountain it was very cool it's about four degrees and it was it was better for that kind of weather if it had been like this all day probably i would have preferred something that had a little bit more breathability but it's really comfortable these um these sleeves have a, a kind of silicon gripper on them so they stay put really nicely and it's just really lovely kit it's not twice as good as the costelli kit and it isn't four times as good as the b-twin kit but it is the nicest of the three and that's that's the way it goes. That's the law of diminishing returns. You know, you pay your money, and the more you pay, you get better stuff. But it's not quite. It isn't twice as good for twice as much. It's the same with bikes. It's the same with cars. It's the same with everything else. So, yeah. Um, if it had been my money and I'd paid 180 quid for these big shorts, I think you know, I think I'd say that I, they're really comfortable and I get on really well with them. So, if you've got the money, then you can justify spending it and you won't be disappointed. So those were our three kits. They all performed really well. I was happy riding in all three. Um, do you get four times better kit if you pay four times as much money? Well, no, because the world doesn't work like that. It's diminishing returns, but you do get better quality pads. You get nice materials as you go up and it's, it depends on what you want to spend, really. I mean, there's, there's not one of those three kits where I feel like I would have if it was my money and I'd spent it and I was looking to spend that much money on a kit, I would have been disappointed. So there we go. The great thing about all the kits is that, you know, we look around online and we are seeing that, you know, they come down quickly in price. Um, so you can probably pick up a bargain. Yeah, and you should go to Deal Clincher to do that. You should go to Deal Clincher. I do Deal Clincher, that's me. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions about any of the three kits, just ask them in the comments below. We'll try and get them answered for you. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more like this on Road TC. Ciao a tutti.